A lot of you, I believe, look at all failures as equal, micro, macro, big, small, but it is in the micro failures that we ultimately figure out who we are, figure out our strength, figure out our areas of weakness, areas that need to be strengthened. And it is in those micro failures that we're given the opportunity to ultimately grow. I don't know if you, if you know, but failure is a good thing, but there's a big difference between micro and macro failures, macro failures, you know, big failures, they're going to set you back. Um, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to require a lot of time to get you back in the game. But micro failures, learning to seek discomfort, learning to push yourself further than you've ever gone before, which will in essence and inevitably create micro failures, man, that's where you learn. And so at the basis of understanding what micro failures look like, we have to start with the environment that we're putting ourselves in on a daily basis. So the question is, what are you doing on a daily basis to put yourself in a position to fail? The only type of people that experience a life, like life is a challenge. Yeah, no matter what. <laughs> and but, it's an experiment. And, and the funny thing is like, we all laugh about that and say no matter what, and of course, but for some people life isn't a challenge. Yeah. And those are the people that are going nowhere. Like people that's life is comfortable, it's easy, they're not challenged, like like that is what you don't want to be. It makes me sick, I'll be honest. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, and so for us, it's trying to be the opposite and to take that to the extreme and to realize that like, if I want to become the best version of myself, that a challenge is required, discomfort is required, pain is required, all of these things are just a prerequisite for getting to where ultimately you want to be. Because if you're not pushing yourself hard enough to fail, if you are not pushing yourself to the point in which failure is an option, then you are selling yourself short. If you're floating through life, tiptoeing, dabbling through life in a way in which failure is not even on the table, then man, you're living small. The goal in life is to live in a place where failure is possible at any moment. And it's in those small, those micro failures on a daily basis that you realize where you need to learn. You realize what you need to improve on. You realize the areas in your life that are lacking and you can start doing something about it. But until you push yourself to the point in which failure can exist, you just, you stay completely blinded by the day to day. I would beg to say that it's actually in the small failures that you will lead to large success. And so set your goals big enough to where, you know, there's going to be some micro failures along the way because it takes failure to ultimately get you where you want to go. If you continue to play small, then you're going to continue to have small wins. But I think the goal is to have some big wins in our life. And isn't it interesting that in order to get those big wins, you're going to have to experience small failures along the way.